The then 32 year old was last seen in Gillette, Wyoming, where she lived with her boyfriend Nassan Haime. Irene is originally from Kenya, but she moved to the United States in 2019 to pursue a nursing degree. Her parents remained in Kenya, and Irene stayed in touch with them via video chat on a regular basis. Irene was also frequently in touch with her two brothers who lived in Idaho. Irene had her last video chat with her parents on February 24, 2022. Her parents continue to receive text messages from her phone via WhatsApp until 9 of March. However, according to Irene's parents, the texts were not written in her usual texting style. It appeared that someone had used an online translator to send the messages in Irene's home language. Eventually, Irene's loved ones stopped receiving those messages too. Irene shared a cell phone plan with her brother in Idaho. After her brother were unable to get a hold of her, they looked at her phone records and spoke to one of her close friends in that they realized that Irene was back together with her boyfriend, Nassan, whom she had met in Greg's list and had been off and on was since 2020. Irene's brother also learned that Irene had actually moved in with Nassan, which was a fact that no one in her family had known. As such, suspicions began to build against Nassan, who had not reported Irene's disappearance, nor he had reached out to anyone to say that she was missing. Irene's brother finally filled the missing persona's report on March 20, 2020. Police questioned Nassan, who said that Irene had left their home in late February and never returned. He said that she packed up her belongings and then left in dark colored suit. Further than that, Nassan has been uncooperative with the investigations. He is considered a person of interest in the case. Investigators later learned that Nassan had access to Irene's bank accounts and credit cards after she vanished. In May, in May 2020, Nassan was arrested and charged with two felony counts of theft, one felony count of unlawful use of credit card, and two felony counts of crime against intellectual property for allegedly changing Irene's bank account password and deleting her email account after she vanished. He claims he did all of these things so that Irene would be forced to contact him if she needed money. As of today, Nassan has not been charged with anything else related to Irene's disappearances. Irene remains missing today. If you have any information that could lead to her, please contact the Gillette Police Department. I hope you enjoyed watching and listening to our video today. If you like it, don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Please support us by subscribing down there and tell us what you think about this video in the comment below. Thank you for watching.